Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This one is an ASUS X510Q model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace or remove your internal battery for this laptop. If yours is not holding any more charge or is inflated and you just want to remove it, this video is for you and it's really easy, you can do it at home. By removing the battery, you don't, you're don't, not modifying anything in the system. The system is still going to be the same way. Just when you power it on, it will take up to 5 to 10 seconds for the initial power to take effect because the, the BIOS will, will get reset to default. Alright, um, to remove the battery, you need to remove the bottom cover. There's a whole bunch of screws on the bottom side of the laptop and there's a few sizes and there's a two hidden screws. For the screwdrivers, I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver as they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel bit, that means they will last you many years. You're going to be using a Phillips number zero. And if you get the Pro set, they will give you some tweezers and some opening tools. If not, grab yourself an opening tool, which is a guitar pick. And metallic ones are really suitable to opening cases and covers. First, we're going to expose the uh, hidden screws, which is under the back, two rubber legs in here. So you're going to put the opening tool right at the back and lift up the rubber leg. That has a little double-sided or adhesive right to it. Remove the other side too. Now, we, I'm going to go over the type of the screws. First, we're going to remove the black screw. These are the obvious ones. These are the ones under the rubber leg. There are two of them. Keep them in one pile. Next, there's one big screw, which is in the far back mid. So this is the only longest screw that it has. There's the two short screws, which are in the front corner. This one on mine is broken because the, even if I spin, it will not come out because the base is broken, the client dropped it. So I'm just gonna leave this one in here. If you can remove, remove yours. These are the short ones. And remove the one in the other side. So these are the short ones. Now, the rest of the screws, even the one in the middle, the in the back corners, these are the medium sized screws. So starting from one corner, go ahead and remove the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will be a tremendous support and motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I'll appreciate that. Right, once we remove all the screws, now what you need to do is to grab the opening tool. You want to start from the back one corner right here, and you want to stick it between the bottom case and the palm rest. And you want to twist it backward like that, do it back here, and you want to hit that big click. And now this is opening a little bit, you want to stick it on the back grill right here, closer to the bottom right there. And you want to twist it, and you want to work your stuff all around. To the other corner and then you can work yourself to the front end obviously you have to remove your screws mine is broken don't forget so i'm going to do the front end do this all around to the back corner to the other side once you finish just grab it up and wiggle it around and it will release itself and the battery is right here there's a one two and three cell battery right in here and to remove the battery, there's a few screws and there is a Wi-Fi antenna that goes over. Before we do anything, we're going to disconnect the jack right here. You want to pull this metal power backward about one millimeter until it exposes the white jack right there. I use my fingernail to put it in a corner in here and lift up that side. And same thing on this side, lift it up and the jack will get loose. Next, I'm going to use the tweezers to pull up these Wi-Fi connectors. Just pull them up from the side and untangle the Wi-Fi cables right there. All right, to remove the battery, now that we untangle the cables from here, just put it to one side. We need to remove few screws. One screw right here. There's a screw from here. It goes from the bottom case, so you need to remove this one in the corner on top. Remove the one in the middle. Remove the one right in the corner here. Remove the one right away here. You will need to remove the screws for the caddy for the hard drive. So remove these ones right away there. 
and the short ones at the back this one is a short one and this one is a long one both of them are shorter actually the back ones are short you want to pull the hard drive back so you can release these hooks right here now you can grab the battery and bring it up and there you have it it's kind of dusty so there's your battery these are 11.55 volt 42 watt hour battery the model for this one is an b31 n1637 that's the model for this battery i'll try to get the link for the new batteries so let's say that you got the new one in you want to move the cables out of the way bring the battery in set it down and you want to start tangling the cables right where it goes make sure this cable goes right in here have to go right on top this white cable goes right first goes underneath and then comes up from this side and you want to You want to run the cable through these gaps right here. Bring it here. Now you want to align it right straight over the connector and push it down. Same thing in here. Run the cable. You want to zigzag it right through there. And then you want to bring it over the jack. Make sure nicely align it. And then push it in, it will click in. Now you want to go ahead and put the screws for the battery, one right there. Keep it in place. Push down the hard drive so it goes over the battery. Put the two tiny screws on the caddy at the back of the hard drive. And then you want to put the screws for the rest of the two in the three in the front of the hard drive, two on the caddy, and one right in the corner, and one right in the middle by the Wi-Fi right here. And next is to grab the jack, align it straight over, and push it down towards the motherboard, and push the lock over the jack. And that's how you replace your battery for your ASUS X510Q model. And once you're done with that, all you need to do is grab the bottom cover, bring it over, set it down, push down in the corners really hard, make sure you hit those clicks on the side and on the front, and put the first two black screws on the bottom of the rubber legs, and then the long chrome screw goes far in the mid, top side, right over here. And the sh two short screws go in the front corners, one in this corner and one in the other side. And the medium screw goes all over the place. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click that like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up pulling up the screws.